You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Naomi Osaka. As you guys know, the Australian Open is going on right now. Without Novak Djokovic, by the way, but we're going to be talking about Naomi Osaka. The defending champion at the Australian Open has now flamed out in the third round, losing to an unseated player. Now, guys, I hate to tell you that I told you so, but I told you so. After Naomi Osaka quit at the French Open last year because she didn't want to speak to the media, she was talking about mental health, but however, she had no problem doing other stuff like uh, posing for magazine covers, that kind of thing. You know, she said tennis wasn't fun. And I even said in the video that it's over for her. It's over. I don't think she's ever going to win another Grand Slam. And guys, today, the opening chapter of her 2022 season, I was right. Defending champion Naomi Osaka loses at Australian Open. The defending champion flames out in the third round. But guys, she didn't lose to a great player. She lost to an unseated player. Let's read a little bit of this. Defending champion Naomi Osaka was knocked out of the Australian Open after losing to Amanda uh, Anisimova. Four sits, six three, seven sits in the third round. The 20-year-old Anis, Anisimova, Anisimova, I'm probably mispronouncing the name, saved two match points in the third set at Margaret Court Arena ahead of the tiebreaker and ended the match with an ace. She hit 46 winners to Osaka's 21. This is unreal, guys. Naomi Osaka, a great hardcore player, lost to an unseated American. Anisimova built a 3-0 lead in the 10-point tiebreaker and went up 9-5 with a forehand winner into tight uh, space down the line. Anisimova double-faulted twice in the first game of the match to hand the 13 seeded Osaka an early break. But she hit 15 winners in the second set and broke to go up 3-1 on a backhand drop shot and Osaka caught at the baseline. She will net Nets face top ranked Ash Barbie in the fourth round. Guys, I was right about Naomi Osaka. You guys remember. And the Walt Sports Media was giving her a pass when she withdrew, withdrew from the French Open because she didn't want to speak to the media. She got fined fifteen thousand dollars. And this is the kind of articles, you know, that the media puts out there. Why Naomi Osaka's French Open withdrawal is a mental health win. Now, guys, we as sports fans, yes, we're compassionate about the mental health of players. But when they don't deliver, that's all we really care about at the end of the day, them delivering wins. Now, I'm a Rafa Nadal fan in tennis. Rafa Nadal is a 20 time Grand Slam champion. And guys, honestly, I'm very disappointed when Rafa Nadal does not win. But in the case of Naomi Osaka, she wanted to be a part time player. And this is not going to work in tennis. Tennis is a young uh, man and young woman's game. If you do what Naomi Osaka did, your career will go down the toilet. OK, it will. Also in the Olympics, remember, Naomi Osaka wanted to come back again and play at the Olympics. And guess what happened? This one says this one sucks Naomi Osaka out. Of Tokyo Olympics in a uh, shot defeat. She lost there too. Crush 6 1, 6 4 at the Olympics in our home country. But the media, you know, they want to uh, put her out there like she was some type of victim. But Naomi Osaka, at the end of the day, didn't want to play tennis. She quit at the French Open. Oh, I'm taking a break. I'm going to work on my mental health, even though she was out there doing photo shoots and all that other stuff. Well, I'm going to come back for the Olympics now. And look what happened. Flamed out. 
oh, after that, I'm going to take more time off again. And now she comes back for the Australian Open defending champion. And this is what happens. She flames out and loses to an unseated player. I told you guys, it is over for Naomi Osaka. She doesn't want to play. She doesn't want to play. She might as well just retire, guys. And I know people out there in the world sports media, you know, they're probably going to be crushing me for this. But I was right up to this point. Unless Naomi Osaka decides she wants to be all in on tennis, you're going to see more results like this. You are. And what's next? The next uh, major event is the French Open. She's not very good on the clay. And I wouldn't be surprised if she comes out now and says, I'm going to take more time off. Because I believe she truly wants to avoid probably the French Open. I mean, the media was just asking her very simple questions. And she just pretty much broke down and cried. She's not mentally tough. She's lost her edge. She really has. After that is Wimbledon. She's not good on the grass either. So the next um, time we may see her could actually be at the U.S. Open in uh, August and September in New New York City. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.